This video shows you how to use the Aquagenix Gel E. coli Colony Forming Units Kit to test drinking water. For instructions on how to use the gel kit to test surface waters, visit our Gel Dilutions webpage. The Gel ECCFU kit detects and quantifies E. coli bacteria in a 100 milliliter water sample. To begin, Collect a 100 milliliter water sample with the Whirlpack Thio bag. Here we're collecting groundwater from a well. Open the E. coli growth medium packet and pour the powder medium into the Thio bag. Close the bag with the Whirlpack seal. Dissolve the growth medium in the sample by gently swirling the bag and squeezing clumps of powder until the medium is dissolved. Next, hold the top of the larger reclosable bag with both hands Pull apart the seal and shake the bag to partially open the bag. Open the gel powder packet and pour the gel powder into the middle of the bag. Thinly spread the powder across the middle of the bag by tilting the bag and spreading the powder with your fingers. Quickly pour the entire sample from the file bag into the gel bag but do not seal the bag shut yet. Immediately, lay the gel bag on a flat surface. Quickly and firmly, use the palm of your hand to press the mixture toward the bottom of the bag. Massage and press clumps of powder to help them dissolve. Continue until the mixture becomes thick and gelatinous. When the powder is dissolved, spread the mixture in an even thickness toward the top of the bag. When the mixture is near the top of the bag, seal the bag shut. After you spread the gel mixture, you still might see a few small clumps of undissolved powder, which is fine. During the incubation period, gel tests can develop an odor. To control odor, lie gel tests flat in a container or thermal bag or cooler. Move the gel bags with care. Incubate your sample in the gel bag at ambient temperature for 20 to 48 hours. Refer to the incubation period and temperature recommendations in the instructions for use for drinking water. After the appropriate incubation period, count the number of E. coli colonies in the gel bag. E. coli are blue or blue-purple colonies that have the appearance of small dots or circles. A bag with no blue or blue-purple colonies is negative for E. coli. 
After you've counted and recorded the number of E. coli colonies, decontaminate the sample in the gel bag. Details on how to do this are in the instructions for use. Complete procedural details are in the instructions for use for drinking water included in gel kits. Instructions also can be downloaded from our website. Please contact us if you have questions. Our contact information is on our website.